Hello, welcome back to Economics 271. I'm Dr. Yoey. This study this is a help on a case study number two. First thing you're going to do is go to course content, case studies. Unlike the last one, I put everything for case study two in a nice folder here. It says case study number two. It's at the bottom of the file right now. I'm going to click on it. There's my case study. I've already opened it. This is on page 162, 163 of your textbook. We're using case problem number three, even though this is a case study number two, business schools of Asia Pacific. You get this information on business schools in, Asia, in the uh, Asian Pacific region. Here's the data sets, it's on the next page. Uh, in order to get that easier and have it as a file, you will go into your case study folder. It's this yellow file here, open it, Hit OK, and you're going to click on the one that says Asian. You see we've got the data set. I am not going to use this data set for, um, for uh, this, this paper, I mean, excuse me, this uh, video. Instead, I'm going to use one called NFL Team Values so that I don't give away the answers. So we'll go back here. We've got uh, case study number two. And the first thing we need to do is to include a summary for each variable in the data set. Instructions on how to do that are in your textbook. Um, if you're not sure what we mean by summary, on page 152, 51, excuse me, there's a list of different variables that we will want in a uh, statistical summary. That's on page 151 on pages 148 and 149 are some graphs that you may want to use. Uh, some important ones for us will be the box plot. Okay. This will be an important one for us here. Okay, And instructions on how to do all of this are on pages 1. 65, excuse me, I'm sorry, my fault, 167, descriptive statistics using Excel, uh, 166, the strict, we're going to use Excel, excuse me, so starting 167, um, on 168, there is uh, information on how to use the descriptive statistics tool, which is included in your book with your book on 160 169 through 173 we have information on box plots which we're going to be using okay now the first thing we need to do before we get any of this done is we need to download excel stat now, you can go to Essentials of Statistics for Business and Economics. You're a student. You click on here. I'm not a student. I click here, and I will get Excel Stat Education Edition. I click on that. It's going to give you an activation code. You should have an activation code for Excel Stat in your book. My book does not come with one. Then you'll click this ExcelStat.com, Execute for Windows. We'll download the file. You'll find it in your download folder. See mine's right here. Double click on it. And that should install Excel Stat for Windows. If you're using a Mac, you'll click on the Mac button. So while we're waiting here for mine to download, I'll pause and we'll come back. Okay, and we're back. I have downloaded it. There is Excel Stat, add-ins. Those were added here. We have got data here. Review. Okay, come back to home. Okay, now here we've got Excel Stat. You may have to hit this little arrow here. It'll tell you to start Excel Stat. We're going to go to Describing Data, Descriptive Statistics. Quantitative variable. I'm not going to worry about qualitative. Now, what I've done here is I highlighted row B, and that is going to be my my column there, and I'm going to hit options, 
descriptive statistics, charts, that's what we want. Output, number of observations, maximum and minimum. We're going to go ahead and add the range here. First quartile, median, third quartile, things you learned in chapter uh, two. We want the mean. <clears throat> if this is a sample or a population, yours will be a sample, so we use N minus one. This is actually a population of NFL teams, but we're not going to worry about that for now. Standard deviation, N minus one. That N minus one says this data I'm using is a sample. Variation coefficient, we want that. We're going to click on mean absolute deviation just to have a little fun. None of these other values do we want. Charts one, a box plot. Okay. Continue. That's going to print out on a new sheet. Now, you cannot add the list, the list of results at the top of the report because you have not added Excel stats. So here, you can go on and do that if you want. I'm not going to mess with it now. So if you look here, I've got number of observations from my data set. If I go back, I'm going to scroll, to move this down so you can see what I'm doing. Going back to data. That was for this row right here. And there are 32, the description, 32 observations. The minimum revenue was 20, 229 million. The maximum was 539 million. The range between the highest and the lowest, 310 million. If we push this out a little bit, you can see that this is revenue in millions. The first quartile, 25% of the teams made less than 252 million, 252.75 million. The median, which means half the teams, made less than 269 million in revenue. The third quartile means that 75% of the teams made less than 293 million, 500,000 in revenue. The mean was 286,000, excuse me, 286. Million four hundred and sixty nine thousand. The variance was three thousand seven hundred and two point one nine three. Standard deviation sixty point eight four six. We're going to give some room here so you can read that also. There we go. More room. Variation coefficient point two zero nine. That would be the variance divided by the mean. If you don't remember that from, chap from chapter three. And then we just did a mean absolute deviation, 39.049. And here we have a block box plot. This box plot does our quartiles. The first quartile is right here. It's outside of the green box. This is the amount of revenue made by the lowest 25% of the teams. The second line here, between here and the end of the box, that is the revenue made by the teams that are in the 50 to just above 25% quartile. That's your median right there. You go up here and look, our median is 269 million. This next box right here, going from the middle to the top of the box, that gives us the fact that 75% of the teams, 25 here, 25 here, 25 here, made less than, and that's $293,500,000. And this would be up here at the highest team, the highest maximum is $539 million. Okay. So those are our descriptive statistics. Now, for the project, I want you to run this for each 
of the variables on that data for Asian business schools. And I'll show you that. So you're going to do this for each one of these variables. Now, where they're qualitative, when you run this, say we're going to do it for English test, to highlight that box. Okay. Oops. There, when you run this, go into Excel stat, go to descriptive data. Descriptive statistics, that is not quantitative data. It's qualitative data. I'm going to highlight that box. We go to options, charts, output. It work. And we're going to hit OK. And you can see here you're going to get a bar chart. This is the number of schools where there is an English test. This is the frequency where there is not. I'm not going to worry about that for now. And you're going to get <clears throat> this information. Now, what you want to do is remember you're making a report, so you want this to be nice. Very nice. So it can look good. But someone who knows little to nothing about what you're doing can look at this report and read it. So you got to make sure that you get the category titles so that they can be read. Fill that all the way. There you go. So it looks nice. All right. So that's how you're going to do this for your data set. I'm not working on that one. I'm working on this, this one. And you can see here's descriptive. Go back to data. I'm going to do that for the next row. here describing data, descriptive statistics. Now I have quantitative data here, so I'm going to click quantitative data. Unclick that box. Go into options. Make sure everything looks good there. Outputs. Here, everything I clicked before is still clicked. So I'm ready to go. Hit OK. Continue. And you can see here, revenue, I've got number of observations. Again, 32, 32 teams, minimum, maximum, the range, and a box plot. All right, that's how you do part one. You're going to do that for each one of the variables that are listed on that uh, data set titled Asian. I'll be back with some more help later. Bye.